All right, so we're gonna replace these calipers. You need your new caliper, new brake pads. We need some lube, socket set. You're gonna need something to drain your old fluid into as it comes out. You need yourself some new brake fluid, some way to create vacuum into it too the air out of the lines. I prefer a vacuum pump because I've done this a few times, but you can use one of those hand pumps or just press on the brakes if you have two people. Get yourself one of these wrenches. They sell them at AutoZone in a set of three, but they've got this hex shape. It fits right on these bolts really well. You're gonna need a jack and some jack stands. Some vehicles require a hex bolt to get these bolts out of your caliper. The first thing you do is prep your new brake clips, your new pads, and your new calipers. To do that, it's just two bolts. They go through the back there. It separates the inside from the outside. Once you've got them separated, you're gonna put your new clips in. You're gonna take your new pads and apply lubricant to this side and to these two hinges. This side is gonna rub against these two pistons. Some vehicles have one, some vehicles have two. But you want it to be nice and glued for the friction there. And these areas are gonna fit in these clips and they're gonna move along those clips. You need to lubricate there as well. Make sure not to get any lubricant on your braking surface because that's gonna rub against your rotors and make it lubricated, which is not what you want. Once the clips and the pads are greased and they're installed, go ahead and put it back in the caliper. Now your caliper is ready for installation. And then we're gonna go ahead and jack up the vehicle. Get your vehicle jacked up and put on jack stands. Always put a tire down just as an added protection. We're gonna go ahead and take two of the bolts off of this and that's gonna take the whole unit off the truck. And then once we're ready to go with the new caliper, we're gonna go ahead and take this banjo bolt off of this and then we're gonna put it this line right onto the new caliper and close it up. Notice that this bleeder valve is on the top. Now the old caliper's off and it's resting on its own. New caliper's gonna get bolted on. New caliper's on. New bolts are going in right there. Then we're gonna take this off, put it here, just like that. Now we're gonna start bleeding. Make sure your brake fluid reservoir is full because you're gonna be pulling air out of the lines and it's gonna pull brake fluid out too. Go ahead and make sure that's topped off. You're gonna get yourself set up with your suction on here, whether it's a hand pump or you're stepping on the brakes or you're using a vacuum pump. You're gonna start the suction and you're gonna crack the valve. do this until there's no more air in the lines. If your cup starts to fill, you just go ahead and close it off so it stops and turn off your vacuum. Once there's no more air in the lines, you're good to go. That's how you change a caliper on a bus or a truck or any car for that matter. Thanks for watching.